What's up, guys? So I started porting the uh, Typhoon. As you can see, there's a big difference. I really thinned out the walls in between the runners. They call it like knife blading. Um, I smoothed out this corner right here, big time coming in. Nice, bl uh, blended it, I should say. Um, I got into the runners. It looks rough. I need to hit it with uh, some sanding attachments. But, um, super happy with it so far. Huge difference. Huge. So, I'll keep going with it. I'll make it right. Make it look nice when I'm done. Got a ton of material out of there. So, it should flow pretty good. Um, here's the lower. I started the lower. Um, I ported the heck out of it. Just that one runner. But the problem I had, I, uh, the problem I had, I ended up walking like a sixteenth of an inch or so. So I'm waiting on a set of gaskets to see if I have to add any material in. But these rear runners don't flow great. I think this one doesn't flow great. Yeah. And this guy doesn't flow that great. Much better than factory, but I shall flip it over. So you can see a little bit better. Uh, get a light here. Yeah, I really went in there. So I want the flow pretty good when I'm done. I got a one inch spacer for it. Um, a little bit more velocity. This is what I'm using for tools. I, uh, I got like the rotary tools, um, different sanding attachments, all from Harbor Freight. Um, some carbide bits to take out bigger material. Haven't really used the Dremel and a finger sander. That's what I got to work with. I feel like that's a decent, decent setup for a, for you know, a first time porter. Um, if you guys have any tips, that'd be great. But I think it's looking pretty good. Just gotta focus on cleaning it up a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I'll run her after. You can see the daylight much better through the runners. I took a good amount of material out of there. So, anyways, guys, till next time. Have a good one.